welcome you all here today. Thank Surrounded by stacks of six packs at Thornton's, the Change in Indiana campaign drums up local support for Sunday alcohol sales. Right now, convenience, drug, and grocery stores are prohibited from selling carryout or cold beer on Sundays. They hear from their customers all the time. Uh, they don't understand why we have these laws. They don't understand the inconvenience that they have to go through because of our antiquated alcohol laws that have no basis in public policy, and they want to see a change made. Indiana is one of 14 states that does not allow carryout sales on Sundays, but it's one of just three states that allow restaurants, bars, and sporting events to sell beer on that day, but not retailers. Change It Indiana says the state is losing out to its neighbors. Money is everything, especially when Indiana is dealing with budget shortfalls and looking for tax revenue wherever they can get it. There's $9 million being left on the table from this prohibition on Sunday sales. Michael Lockard is a citizen opposing the Change It campaign. He says even one more day of alcohol sales is harmful to Hoosiers. The more you make it available, the easier it is for underage people to get access to it. If you can control it by cutting off one day a week, and it's a good thing. Besides, Lockard says, there are many things people can't do on Sundays. If you want to go to the bank on Sunday, you can't do it. If you want to pick up your dry cleaning on Sunday, you can't do it. If you want to go to the doctor's office on Sunday, you can't do it. You know it's a fact of life. Jordan Rowe, News 25.